thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how to create this water bottle label with the fun little nutritional birthday facts on the side. Um, obviously you can change this design to fit any theme of any party. I do have a number of other videos which go into creating round labels, square labels, invitations, other water bottle tags. Uh, so please feel free to watch as many and all my videos, subscribe to my channel, and uh, please if you did find this useful like my video. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is we're going to want to insert a shape and we're going to want to get the basic shape um, of this water bottle label. So we know this shape is selected and again what I did was I clicked on insert shape and I clicked on this, this triangle or rectangle right here. Okay. So once this is here, I know this shape is selected because I have the squares around this. And I'm going to want to go ahead and click on format and I'm going to want to make this two inches high by 8.5 inches wide. And this fits most like of the crystal geyser type of water bottles. Okay, um, what I want to do is again ensure this is selected. I want to click on format and I want to do a shape fill of no fill because I obviously want to fill with this sort of design. So how did I get this stripe design? I actually went to Google and I typed in brown and white striped background. And we're going to go ahead and click on images. And this is similar to what I want, but I'm not exactly. So if you click on related images, this is actually the exact image that I used. Okay, so I want to save this picture as water bottle labels. It's PP canopy striped. I want to save that. Okay. So now, um, once I'm in here, I can go ahead and do an insert picture and insert my brown canopy. Now, if I try to move this image around, go ahead and try to try to move it around. You can't. Um, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is change the layout options. And you can either click on this box up here and click in front of text, or you can right click and say wrap text in front of text. Okay. Now you can um, select this image and move it around. Okay. We're obviously going to want to get rid of this ruler. We're going to want to ensure that this is selected. We're going to click on format and we're going to click on the crop button. When we have the crop button, we can see these sort of black lines around the image. And so we're going to want to move till we see this little black T on the bottom. And we're basically just going to want to move this up. Okay. So now we have our image cropped. We obviously know this is going to want to fit a water bottle that's two inches high. So we're going to click on this image. We're going to click on format and we're going to go to height and do two inches. Okay. So now we have the start of this. We can see though that this brown is much bolder than this brown. And I like the more muted brown. So how I got that color was I clicked on format. I clicked on correctness and I went ahead and softened that by 25%. I also changed the brightness and the contrast. And again, I use sort of these predefined um, labels. So now that looks um, pretty similar to what I want. So from here, you can go ahead and right click and click on copy. And then you can click on paste and move this over. And we can once again click on paste. And once again, we can move this over. And all we're doing is laying these images on top of one another. Okay. And once again, we can right click and paste and move this over. Okay. And then we have this little bit left. So let's right click and let's paste one more. And once again, we're going to have to format and we're going to have to crop this image. Okay. So now we can see that we're missing sort of this border, right? We have the image, but we're missing this rectangular border. We're going to want to do a few things. First of all, we're going to want to match the color exactly. So um, we already have copied the image copied, so we don't need to copy it again. We're going to go ahead and open up. Microsoft Paint. And we're going to go ahead and click on Paste. We're then going to click on our color picker and we're going to click in here and we know that the color is selected because we see this brown color. We're going to click on Edit Colors. We can see here that this is 138 by 121 by 109. Okay. 
we now want to click on format and let's go ahead and select our original rectangle and we know it's selected because we see these boxes around the entire shape so that's how we know that we have that rectangle selected and we want to do a couple things first we want to right click and we want to say to bring to front okay next thing we want to do is we want to click on format and do a shape outline and we want to do more outline colors and from here we want to type in the 138 by 121 by 109 and now we have that brown color okay we then want to change the weight to a two and a quarter okay now what we want to do is create this fun little nutritional birthday facts so we want to once again insert a shape and let's go ahead and insert our square and again we just want to make it any size um, we want to ensure that it's selected, click on the format, and we want to make this 1.82 by 1.74, okay? And then from here we can sort of move the shape around, and we want to ensure format is selected, and we want to do a shape fill of white and a shape outline of black, okay? Now we want to insert a text box. And we're going to insert that text box right up here and we're going to say birthday facts and we're going to want to click on our home button and we're going to want to center that and this is Arial black and it is 11 point font okay uh, from here we can go ahead and press enter Serving size one birthday girl. Okay, obviously we don't want to make this Arial Black in the same size, so we want to go up here and make this Calibri Light, and we want to make this an eight point font. Okay. Uh, you can see that the spacing is a little off, and that often happens if you start mixing and matching fonts. So what we want to do is highlight all the text here, click on this line and paragraph spacing, and click on line spacing options. From here, you want to ensure that this is zero and single spaced. Okay, and now that brings it right up there. Now we can see um, this is looking pretty similar to what we want. However, we don't want this ugly sort of text box around that. So we want to click on that text box. We want to click on format, do a shape fill of no fill, and a shape outline of no outline. Okay. All right, now we need to enter in this part. We're going to insert a whole new text box. And let's go ahead and draw this text box right over here. Okay. From here, we want to click on format, do a shape outline of, oopsies, do a shape outline of no outline, and a shape fill of no fill. And what we want to do is we want to insert a table, and we want to have this go seven columns down, okay? Um, what we want to do is, as you can see here, the um, line spacing options, and we can make this table a little bit bigger, longer, if, if you will. Um, but we can see this line spacing options. If we do amount per serving. Wow, I'm a, really not a great speller. Okay, we can see this is not really the right font size. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna actually wanna select all of the columns in the table and we want to go up to the top and we want to do Calibri Light and we want to do 8 point font. And that's going to uh, make that table much smaller. Okay. And then from here, we can, again, we can make this table bigger by moving till you see sort of that line with the two arrows and moving that over. And then from here, we can um, enter in some spaces. And then we can do an asterisk. And then we can write 100 percent. Then we can go up here if it goes to the next line. We can simply get rid of some of the spaces. Okay. And then from here you just type in the fun. And I'm going to just copy and paste because my um, typing um, is something to be desired. <laughs> and again, if it moves to another line, you can just remove some of the spaces. Okay. All right. 
So now um, this is looking much similar, but we still have sort of these lines off to the side. So all we're gonna do is we're going to insert a shape and we're gonna insert a line. And we're gonna go right here and insert a line right there. What we're gonna do though is do shape outline of white and we're gonna do a weight of three point font. Okay. All that is is a white line to essentially erase the sides. And from here you can click, copy, click in here, click paste. And actually that's not probably the best way to do it. Let's go ahead and undo that because I can't find the because it's white, it blends in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to insert a shape and do that all over again. We're going to insert a shape right here. And again, that was the line, and we want to do a shape outline of white and a weight of two and a fourth or three. Okay. Now all we have to do is a percent daily value based on, and then we can do the little asterisk, and then we can do the um, percent sign, and I'm just going to copy and paste daily value based on having a fantastic birthday party. And the font size for this is you want to go to home and you want to make this a six point font. Okay, that's a six point font. And then from here, we could have pressed enter it if we want. And again, that we got to change the line spacing here where we do single space zero. And there we go. All right. From here now, all we need to do is, or the last bit, is um, create sort of this circle. So we want to go ahead and click on Insert Shape, and we want to insert a donut. Okay. And then from here, we're going to want to click on Format, and we are going to want to make this 1.98 by 1.98. And we want to make the, oopsies. And we want to take this little yellow piece and move this to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, and let's go ahead and actually, before we um, put in the color for this, we want to use the same color as the wing of the owl. So let's go ahead and insert another shape. And we're going to insert this inside shape, put the owl in there, and then find that same color pink. Okay. And I actually, let's see. Okay, let's make this 1.09 by 1.09. Okay. And let's go ahead and make the shape fill of white. And let's make the shape outline of this light gray. And what we're going to do is put in another circle. And instead of 1.98, we're going to make that 1.88 by 1.88. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to do the little box here. Actually, let's just go ahead and copy this circle and then let's go ahead and paste. Okay, so now we have another circle. Oops. Okay, so now we have another circle. But what we want to do instead of 1.09, we want to make this 1.02 1 1.02 and we want to do a shape fill of no fill and we want to do a shape outline of this brown, we want to make the weight one and a half, and we want to do the round dot. Okay. Now we want to insert our picture, and again, if you do a search for brown and pink owl, you would be able to find this brown and pink owl. Um, I've already showed you how you can download and find new images. Now if we go here, we can move this around. Now as we can see here, we have sort of this white background of the owl. So what we want to do is click on Format, click on Remove Background. 
When we remove background, we want to obviously get all of the owl in there. And then we want to say keep changes. And now we just have the owl. Okay. So now let's go ahead and copy this owl. Let's go back into paint. Let's click on new, don't save. And let's go ahead and click on paste. Now we want to find the color of the pink in the wings. So let's click on edit colors. And we see this is 249 by 188 by 194. So let's go ahead and click on this. And let's go ahead and click on format. And let's do a shape outline of more, oh, I'm sorry. Let's do a shape fill of more fill colors. And we want to do our 249 by 188 by 194. Okay. And we can do the shape outline of this gray or of this brown. Okay. And then finally, we want to do the happy first birthday. So we could go ahead and insert once again a text box, draw a text box. And we could write in happy first birthday. And let's go ahead and center this. The font is K G blank space. The font is 11. Okay. And we want to click on format. We want to do a shape outline of no outline and we want to do a shape fill of no fill. And then we want to click over here for text effects, transform. And we want to make this smaller. There we go. Happy first birthday. Okay. And then finally, we could put in our insert text box, draw text box, and we can type in Emily. And once again, we can go to home. We can center this. We can change this to KG chasing space. We can change the font color to that brown. And we can once again click on format, do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline, and we can click on our transform and we want it to be like that. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And actually, let's change this font color to this nice gray. Okay. And that's how you make this water bottle label. And again, um, if you like this video, please like the video. Also, please feel free to watch any of my other videos and or um, subscribe to my station. Thanks so much, and I hope you found this useful. Uh, have a great day.